trees that will be needed to create reminder bills for the British public doesn't bear thinking about. I think it would be a nice touch if the government picked up the tab for our energy bills altogether rather than try and work out what would help you. Just said to the energy companies, uh, just to let you know you send us the bill. The only trouble is we are still paying it because we are the taxpayers. Governments don't have any money unless it comes from us and we give it them. We give it them that. And so there we have it. And I was thinking this morning on the 1st of January, 1948, Vesting Day, the British government took over the power companies, had the Ministry of Fuel and Power under Manny Shinwell. Now, it was a wonderful setup because they nationalised energy. And I think that if the power companies are making these billions of pounds in profit, then wouldn't it be better if the government nationalised them and got the billions of pounds of profit and gave us a decently priced bill? So think about that, nationalising the power companies. Excellent idea or sheer folly? Uh, Manny Shinwell, who was a Scot, I did take serious, serious issue with him because he had a chip on his shoulder. He was an old-fashioned and, and and that lot kind of bordered on commie. And he was a Scot. But because he, he didn't like the aristocracy and he ploughed up the gardens of Wentworth Woodhouse in South Yorkshire at Rotherham, between Rotherham and Sheffield. And it's a house I I love. I love that house. And it survived and endured. It's the biggest country house in Europe. It's actually two houses. It's uh, one house is Palladian and the other is Baroque. And uh, it makes Blenheim Palace look like a shack, like a garden shed. And remember, Blenheim Palace was designed by Sir John Vanborough and built by the Queen as a present to uh, the first Duke of Marlborough for his, his victory at Marlborough and Malplaquet. So there we are, John Marlborough. Uh, and uh, she actually paid for Blenheim Palace. And her and Vanborough had huge fights. I mean, she was quite feisty, Queen Anne, the last of the Stuarts. But, um, you know, she did some bad things as well, including uniting Scotland and England. That was a that was a bad piece of uh, of work. So there we have it. Uh, so there you go. T tell me what you think about that, guys. North Sea oil. That's why we're not held to hostage yet. Yes, I know, but you see, we in Scotland should have had the income from North Sea oil for the last sixty years. <laughs>